good morning and welcome back to Visit File Coast. I'm at Fleetwood Seafront again and the weather is just so lovely and the view so beautiful. I've had to do a quick video so it's just going to be a short one and it's just another walk of what we did pretty much the other day. And you might be wondering why I'm at Fleetwood Seafront quite early on a Friday morning which is I'm normally sat, I'm normally sat typing and I doing my typing. Well I've been to collect some rope, strange but true. <clears throat> um, so thank you to Skip, who um, is, a, is a Fleetwood fisherman and uh, ferryman and RNLI volunteer and all the rest of it, who answered our call for some rope for Cleveland for a, an in bloom gardening project that we're doing. So watch this space and we'll tell you all about that. Anyway, I've been to fetch this rope and I'm on the, the seafront as you can see and it is beautiful. After all that rain and wind, it's just so nice to be out in the fresh air. So I thought I'd, I'd share it with you. So apologies for this being pretty much a very similar to walk around to the one that we did the other day. But hey ho, if you want the weather, you want the weather. So don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've hit that little bell for notifications. And don't forget to sign up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter because we've got loads of stuff to do in Blackpool next week. So let's go and have a look, shall we? And, and see this gorgeous sunshine. Oh, look, that's that lovely bright yellow coral island tram. I don't think it's lovely, that. So he's just been waiting at the tram pause waiting depot thing there where that bus is. And he's off on his way now back to, back to Blackpool. So this is the ferry cafe. So if you come to Fleetwood, you need to come in here for your fish and chips. This one here, very good fish and chips. And this is the ferry, the ferry to not end. That's somebody that's recognised me. Um, so the little, the little uh, wire roses down there, look. The wire estuary ferry. So this is where you catch the ferry. You can wait on a bench. And the sailing times are usually on the, on the board. So ferry times for today are 10.45 to quarter past four every half an hour. And you can go on a nice little jaunt across to Knot End, whereupon you can have some fish and chips and a walk round and a look at the Lowry statue. Our in our shop, well worth a visit. Ice creams, birds twirting, plenty of benches. Gorgeous views. It's really clear this morning. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely lovely. <coughs> I've got a frog in my throat. And uh, the tide's out again. I think it was out the other day, wasn't it, when we came, when we came to have a look. It's still out. It's not been out all that time, honestly, I promise. So you can just see, look, the other side of the um, channel. So this is the channel of the River Wire. And it says danger and it means danger. Because it might look innocent, but believe me, you would not want to be in there. Can you see how fast it's moving? You can see the current on the top of the water and it's going at a fair pace and that's when it's flat calm. I love this little boardwalk, I'd love one of these at Cleveland. I think if I tried to ask the engineers in the council to do one I think they'd throttle me. <laughs> they'd do that oh Jim thing and roll their eyes. <laughs> but it's lovely, it's really really nice. In fact, I'll tell you what, we'll go this way. We'll go via the, we'll go via the garden. So there's all these little shelters as well, look. <coughs> the town centre is just over there at the back of, at the back of the lighthouse. So there's Fleetwood Market. Don't ask me what day it's on, because I can never remember. I think it's, it's closed on a Wednesday. And I think it might be on every other day. Maybe not, you have to check their website and Facebook page. So the, the town centre is sort of that way. And if you were to walk in a straight line, straight forward, following the streets that way, you come to kind of the mount and the esplanade because of course Fleetwood is a is a curved is a curved peninsula of land. These gardens are lovely. Really nice. That looks like somebody's sleeping bag. If you've lost a sleeping bag, 
it's hung up in uh, the Austin Gardens. I wonder what this is. This is managing to grow quite well, isn't it? This plant with the flower on it. It looks like lavender. Surely lavender shouldn't be flowering at this time of year. I think it is, you know. Let's have a, let's have a sniff at it. It is, it's lavender. Wow, that's lovely. I think that's a different type of lavender. I think it's a, I think it's a, I don't know, different lavender. It does smell very nice. Lovely. Near the birds. It's uh, goldfinches twittering. I can't see any. That's a blackie. It's goldfinches twittering, but I can't see where they are. There's lots of them round the, the coast and they even nest in the town centre in the trees on the main road. So there's all these little footpaths and all these little shelters and it's absolutely... Oh, there's one there, look. You will probably not be able to see that. It's just jumped out of the plants. It's absolutely full of wildlife. You wouldn't think it, would you? This is an original restored water fountain. And very pretty it is too. So a lot of this work was done with a grant from Mrs Lofthouse who makes the, the Lofthouse family make fisherman's friend lozenges. Um, and they're based in Fleetwood, the, the factory's in Fleetwood. So that's where they make those little tablets. Personally, I quite like the black currant ones. They're excellent when you've got a bit of a path. Ooh, bluebells, look at these here. You see, you open your eyes, open your eyes and you see all kinds of things. I bet this is full of wildlife. There's even a trainer down there. I don't know whether you can see it. He's straight in front. <laughs> She's lost a show. <laughs> Why is there always ever one show? When you pick one up on a beach, there's only ever one. Bizarre. Very odd. And this is the lovely Lower Lighthouse. Now on Heritage Open Weekends, which is in September, the local Civic Trust do um, look arounds in these, in these, some of these buildings. And the, the Lower Lighthouse is one of the ones that you can actually that you can actually go in. So you can climb up to the top and look off the parapet, which I have done in the past, and it's a very good view from up there. Very good view. It's gone cloudy. Where's all that black cloud come from? I'm oh, just enjoying that sunshine. I think that might be my cue to turn the video off. Looks like the Pidgey Podgies live under there as well. So this is the door look where you go up into the building. It's like somebody's been feeding them. I love feeding the birds, but please not in a public place. It's not really, it's not really cricket. Get that for a view. Look at the wind farm. That's clear. You can't see that on the camera. So that straight in front of us, behind that pole, that landmass, will be Barrow. That'll be the shipyards at BAE. And then there's all the hills and whatnot of the Lake District. And then this white building that you can see in the distance, it's sort of lined upish with that bit of log. That's the nuclear submarine sheds at Heesham and the power station. It's gone cloudy. I demand a refund. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. That's your little look around for this morning. And the, the cloud is my cue to go. So don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've hit that little bell for notifications. Don't forget to sign up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter. And we'll see you next time. And all this seafront parking is free. So you can get your fish and chips from the ferry cafe. And you can park your car here and enjoy the view. Till next time, we'll see you later. Bye for now.